this is a tough issue because it's definitely a male dominated industry and and uh you know we had uh, uh we we tried hard we thought we were trying hard we worked hard with the university we always try to get women at female engineers we hire try to get more women in non-traditional roles like in the skilled trade so i think we were well motivated uh in in a number of areas but you know, uh, today we've, you know, we've had some women reach vice president level and we have some managers, but I would, to be honest, I don't think we quite got there. I think we had a bit of a glass ceiling and we still have to manage that uh, closely, William. What, what we did when I was there is, uh, uh, for any position, we always wanted to pick the best person, uh, but we'd insist often that, identify who would be the best female, even if not qualified, just so try to, breakthrough because we obviously when you have that sort of ceiling there's got to be some sort of systemic stuff going on now so that so that's an admission that you know it didn't get as far as I wanted and I'll take a lot of uh, flack for that uh, there was some good examples though and and one I think you talked to Jim Carter about was the bridges program where the jobs are going to disappear though was in the administrative areas because of computers and different ways of doing things where were our female employees? Well, to, they're highly concentrated in the administrative area. So, so we had a choice. Well, we could fire those people and go hire more uh, drivers of trucks than that. And we said, well, why would we do that? Why, why shoot good employees? So again, Keanu used to always wonder what the hell would we come up with next? But in the Bridges program, we actually set them up. They had designed a two week course where we took women uh, who were in administrative roles all their lives, go in and they, because one of the big barriers of, of taking women from that kind of a role and putting them out into, into a male-dominated workplace is they don't know the jargon. Growing up, even though I'm not very handy, I knew what a con rod was or a piston, whatever. Well, if you don't know the jargon, you, you got two strikes against you. And so unless you're very extroverted, you'll sink away. So, so we knew that. So for two weeks, they built bird cages and they learned all this stuff. Then we had a program where they would then job shadow. They could pick the career and, and, and finally go right to the point where they would, we'd let them work a 28 day work cycle with the team they would be part of. And um, all through that period, they at any point, the woman could say, I've had it, it's too big a change, I want my original job back. Back at the home front, the, the job that was left vacant, they were not allowed to fill it. On, not even on a temporary basis. They had to redesign the work in there to backfill for that person. So that was also how we forced the uh, work redesign in the system. And by the way, there was none ever asked to go back. I was going to say most women. You know, and 20, in the end, 25% of our drivers of the 400 ton trucks were women. 